Hey, what's going on everybody? East Tactics here. And today I thought I'd make a real quick video uh, to ultimately just show you guys how to use a crimping tool. Um, this is if you're basically doing a DIY project on maybe installing your own fan system, 40 millimeter fans on your motor, on your ESC, and you've gone the DIY route. Um, I've got a whole playlist basically on going the DIY route um, acquiring all of the miscellaneous parts that you need, ordering the fans from AliExpress, picking up your braid, you know, picking up miscellaneous adapters. Um, method of doing this, and I think the, the actual playlist more promotes this idea or at least showcases it, is doing a lot of just snipping wires and soldering them together with a solder. And you know, soldering is fine too, but um, because I do this quite a bit, I figure, you know what, why not learn how to use one of these crimping tools and pick up Basically, your classic JST, um, female and male. There's just a whole bunch of them, and then there's the two versions of the metal that you'll need. So it's basically this and this. So anyway, this is more of a solder-free method of uh, you know putting these things together. Um, so when you order one of these fans, what you do is you just snip the uh, blue and the yellow wire so that all you have is just the black and the red. And then you want to get about three millimeters of metal showing. Okay. And I'm going to show you the proper way to use this crimp tool because honestly, if you don't know how, um, it can be a little bit confusing and you just want to make sure you do it right. So um, ultimately what I'm going to be creating, I like to outfit these fans with this version of JST because then you can just plug it straight into your ESC. You know what I mean? Or you can plug it into a splitter. The two fans could go into the splitter and then this could go into your ESC or a 3S battery either way. So anyway, let me kind of show you guys how to actually do this. So first thing you want to look at is you just kind of want to match um, a classic JST connector. connector. The silver is facing up, the black is closest to you, and the red is in the middle. Okay, that's basically just a rule of thumb. So anyway, so I've got two of these. I'm going to be outfitting two fans, so obviously I need two of these. JST end connectors, and then I'm gonna need four of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delicately bend these off and set them down. Okay, so these tools are actually designed to be held in the right hand and the logo and everything to be facing you and held in this manner, like so. So you're never gonna turn this over like this and do it upside down or anything like that, okay? Now, when you look closely, and I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to closely show you this, but all right, so when you look closely at this little thing, you'll see it's got two large flaps at the end and then two little flaps in the middle and then Basically, this little section right here, this third section, is more just an inlet for the wire to go into, okay? Now, when you set this thing into your crimp tool, so the way these things work when you start crimping them is when you click here one click, it will stay. Two clicks, it'll stay. Three clicks, it'll stay. And you'll notice if I go all the way in, if I squeeze it all the way in, you notice how there's still a gap? on this side, but then if I flip it over, you see no gap. Or a much smaller gap versus the gap that's on preset on this side. You see that? So that's how you actually know that this bigger flap needs to be on the side with the larger gap. So that means I'm going to actually come in from the back side. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to set this thing on top of the peak. And then I'm going to click it into place so that that large flap is on the large side. Okay. Now this thing is basically being held in place and it's ready for me to go. I would actually look at this side really closely because you want to make sure that that section is completely free from being crimped. So I would even layer on, see how there's a slight gap. Uh, like right there 
because I actually pulled it back just a little bit because I'd rather play it, play it safe than sorry because you do not want to crimp this end at all and damage how that piece inserts in. Okay, make sure it's twisted. Stick it in. Now, if you look at the other side, you don't want to see it, the wire, that wire sticking out. So you want to back it out to about there. Okay, now let's take a close look. See how the red is just crimped in and then the wire itself is crimped on the second level. And then this section right here is undamaged. And that is how you crimp it. Now I'm gonna do that with the black one. Again, I'm gonna come in from the back side and we're gonna crimp it in. You'll notice that there is a very slight gap that I'm allowing to exist right there because I want it to play 100% safe without crimping this end. Okay. All right. All right, so now that they are both officially on, it is actually a good idea to test it at this stage to make sure that it's actually working because um, you don't want to get everything put together, get your your uh, braid on and everything, heat shrinked and then put together and find that you're not making a connection here, right? So you take your 3S battery. I've got my handy switch right here. Plug it in. And then we'll plug. Okay, so we know that it's a good connection. That's nice. Go ahead and pull these off. Get this out of the way. Okay, so when I cut both ends of the braid, uh, this is a six inch piece. I did take and just lightly torch the ends of this so that it doesn't fray. And now we're going to twist this together down here so that the yellow and the blue just kind of stay put. We're gonna put our braid on. Okay, so now is the time that you wanna put your heat shrink on because it's easier to put it on like so. You wanna put two on. Okay, now remember, based on our example here, with the metal facing up, you want the black to be closest to you and the red in the middle. So as far as the way this gets inserted in, you want the flat section at the bottom. We'll put this into the center. And you'll notice it just kind of catches on its own. Really easy. Okay, now we'll take the black one like so. And then insert it. Okay. Then we'll just go ahead and bring this back up. Force it over a small amount like so, and then shrink both of these. Now that that's done, we will double check that it's working still. There you go. So that's the solder free way basically of connecting the JST to a 40 millimeter fan um, by buying the actual JST connectors and using the crimp tool. Anyway guys, that was pretty much what I wanted to show you. I won't put you through the motions of seeing the second fan. However, one thing I do wanna show you 
is this right here is already set up to, to be like if you were gonna run the fans to your ESC, right? So you plug your two fans in right here and then you plug this into your ESC. However, if you wanted to run into a 3S battery, then you would basically snip this and then convert this end to, uh, so here's the 3S battery connector, right? You'd convert it into this. Now you'll notice that this has the two prongs and it's, the prongs are in the outside extremity, basically four holes in this thing and you can see that the outer ones are used. So if you put the notches downward, these little notches right here that notch out, these two little notches right here that notch out, if you put that facing down, then you want the black to be on the inside closest to you, okay? So anyway, I bought a kit of these as well because, so really all I wanted from this kit, like I didn't, I don't even really use these things right here. These right here are all designed for the end that we would never use, that I don't have any use for, which is this, this end. Um, I'll, so I'll never use any of those. However, I will use these right here, this piece. And so what I'll end up doing is basically pulling all four of these little prongs out completely and not using them. And then I'll connect, I'll strip these two wires down on this to where I can hook them into this version. And then I'll shove these two straight prongs through the outside two slots. And the way you'll crimp these on using this tool here is basically the exact same way, except for it's just got the mill end. I would suppose you'd call it the mill side of things. So. I bought this splitter, basically a pack of these, which I'll have in the description. Um, in fact, the whole DIY process is in a special master link that I'll have in the description of this video, where you can basically buy all the stuff you see here. You can buy this kit, you can buy this kit, and you can get the braid, um, everything. In fact, you can also get these splitters so that if you're not gonna run to the ESC and you wanna run to a 3S battery, you basically just take and set it up. Snip it, pull all four of these prongs out, and, and then use the crimp tool to hook two of these onto it, and then put those into the outside holes. And then, um, once you've got that connected, then you'll use a wider piece of your All right. All right, guys, well, once again, I really appreciate you watching my videos on how to, uh, basically how to use one of these crimp tools properly so that you don't sit and damage these things and, and waste them. Um, but also just the DIY method in another light, uh, solder-free method of connecting these fans to a JST um, as well as a 3S adapter situation. Um, make sure you check out my other videos if you ever have any questions, check out the playlist on the DIY fan process also check the link in the description for basically a compiled version of just fan stuff that you need in one master link called diy fan parts list um, if you appreciate my videos hit that like button i always appreciate it it actually kind of just triggers an algorithm in in youtube to share it and make it more uh, youtube will actually share it to other people more often if you hit the like button for me so do that if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel and if you really appreciate my stuff uh hit me up on patreon um i'm always grateful when somebody wants to throw a little bit of uh, love my way and i will see you guys on the next video east tactics out Thank you.